Good morning, you guys. I guess today I was threatened with my life if I do not clean out my closet. This is an absolute disaster, and it's time for that annual switch of, I guess, my wardrobe to go to springtime, I guess. I don't really have a lot of closet space. It's not big, but I also don't have a ton of clothes other than when I look at what I have. I have a ton of workout outfits, and I have a lot of jeans. I think I have to come to terms with a lot of stuff and throw it away, too. That's, that's hard to do. So I'm going to pull everything out and put it on the bed of what I'm going to keep. There's holes in these shorts, but we're keeping these shorts because I like them. I've had this shirt since before my mission, and uh, it's time for it to go. All of our GoPro stuff stays in my closet. We kind of have camera stuff stashed everywhere, but the GoPro stuff stays here in my closet. So I'm going to keep this backpack hanging. When it's on the floor, it takes up too much space. And as you can tell, I don't have a lot of floor space to begin with. This is the part I don't want to do at all, is go through all of my shirts and things like that. I know I just don't need near as many as I have. I have way too many shirts. A subscriber somebody sent me some rip curl shirts and they are my favorite I love rip curl shirts for some reason they're just good quality shirts all of these shorts are chubby's brand and they're the only shorts I'll work out in I will link those in the description as well You guys, there you have it. A freshly cleaned closet, organized, and ready to be messed up one more time. I just got back from the grocery store. I definitely didn't want to go in, but I got what we needed for the week. Tonight I'm doing like a curry lentil soup. Anyway, I'm really excited to make it, but I went into the grocery store. Before I even walked into the to Walmart, I felt emotional going in because they had all of the entrances kind of like barricaded and all the workers had masks on only a certain amount of people were let in at the store at a time which is really good you were constantly being reminded to stay six feet away from everybody wash your hands often don't touch your face and i don't know why but the feeling in the store was not fun <laughs> nobody wanted to look at each other nobody wanted to talk to each other and if you were next to someone it was just like ugh. Like that's the feeling that you kind of got from everyone and I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, I know that it is what it is right now and we're all being really careful. I do think that right now is really crucial. I think that it's like gone through periods and right now I just feel like it's, I don't know. I hesitate even saying that because I don't want it to be taken the wrong way, but I just definitely feel like when you're in your house for three weeks, at least for us, we've been in our house for three, four weeks now, and it's like, oh, maybe things are like getting better, but then you go out and it isn't. So what I'm saying is that it's still just as bad and we should continue to stay home. I am putting away the kids' schoolwork and I am getting ready to make my dinner. And the thing is, I know it's going to be excellent, I hope. <laughs> So let's um, pray that it's good. And if it's good, I'm going to make a video showing you guys exactly what I did because I really do have some pretty high hopes for this. My skin like hurts. It's because of stress. Do, what am I stressed about? Like nothing. I have nothing to be stressed about. I don't know why I'm stressed. It's the dumbest thing. I'm gonna tell myself that I'm not stressed, okay? I'm actually really not. I just feel a little high strung today and you can see it in my skin. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird that that happens? Anyway, so the kids had homeschool 
obviously. And now they're all in the backyard playing. When they come in, <laughs> I'm gonna have Olivia help me cook because I know she really wants to. Excuse me, what are you doing? Hi. What are you doing? I know, everything is broke. All those things These broke. These are my favorite, and I I'm not know. gonna let it die. I know, most of this stuff it's is supposed broke. supposed to go like that. Yeah. But I don't really mind. Yeah, we'll just make do. Olivia, this is so fun! I can't wait to see what you do with it. I'm gonna start cooking, and I will come check on you oh, when you're done. I can find a potato! <laughs> I want you guys to play a game together. Lincoln and Boston, play something together. Those two are not the nicest to each other, and I am determined to make them friends, whether they like it or not. Don't worry, just wiping the dirt off my feet. <laughs> I am going to try and put a happy mood on coronavirus week three. I am planting flowers. Now, these are pansies, little purple pansies on the inside. Anybody, anybody? And pansies are a cold weather flower, so we should be good to plant these, even if it gets pretty darn cold, because it is not done being cold here yet. It doesn't warm up for annual flowers until at least Mother's Day. I think sometimes you have to go even further than that, but typically Mother's Day's good. Actually, I take that back. I'm sorry. I'm thinking Roy, Utah area where my parents live. That's Mother's Day weekend. We are two to three weeks behind them notoriously. So usually it's like first week of June we actually plant our annual flowers, which is like petunias and all those, but instead we're going to plant some pansies and yellow pansies and some more pansies over there and get these flower beds cleaned up and looking nice. Uh, watching us plant flowers? Okay. We were too excited to eat dinner. <laughs> and I forgot to show you the after. <laughs> okay. I completely emptied the pan. My soup was almost gone. Okay, we did not add rice to it because I just didn't make the rice and it's getting closer to bedtime. I need to know what you guys think of your dinner. What do you guys think? It's That's different, okay. but it's good. So, I like it. Cody, I want to know what you think. I think it's okay. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Boston? It's okay? What do you think, Lincoln? I think it's good. You like it? Lincoln likes everything. I think it's fabulous. Like, I think it is so flipping good. Now. The one thing, I think it could be better if the red paste, like the curry paste, was a better curry paste. But the stores were out of everything and there was like a like a cheaper brand. I don't know, it seemed a little more runny than, than like the recipe. I combined two different recipes to make this. This is what I did, I got on Amazon and I ordered the red curry paste. I'm going to make it again and when I make it again, I'll make a video because, oh my gosh, it was so good. I think it's so good. And I will add rice to it next time too. <laughs> Kids may not love, love it. Do you like it? You like it, you don't love it. That's okay. Well, that was fast. The second the kids got done eating, they were like, can we go back outside? They've got that ball, they're playing in the yard, the sun's down, and it's still kind of warm. So I'm going to clean up the kitchen in peace. This floor is so dirty because the kids have been in and out all day, and I didn't care. Like, I knew I was gonna sweep tonight, and I did not care that the floors were getting so dirty. I don't care that I've been in the kitchen all day. I'm gonna tell you that this quarantine has been the biggest personal blessing. Obviously, it's a, it's a nightmare in the world, but I'm looking at the positive in it, and I have been looking for ways to simplify my life and just feeling like I couldn't, you know? Like, just the pressure of keeping up in, like, on Instagram, and I haven't really ever tried keeping up with YouTube videos, because that would just be too hard. <laughs> like, I just can't do it. But like the pressure with like our clothing line, like doing more, doing better, 
and with Instagram, you know, like collaborations and like whatever, you know, and saying yes to a certain amount of brand deals every month. And I don't know, I just was looking for a way to slow down. What this quarantine has taught me is that it's okay to slow down and cancel everything and the world is going to keep going. It was easy because everyone's doing it and so that's what made that's what's made it, you know, easier, but I'm not going to go back. I am not going to go back and rebook my life. I am not going to go back to being busy. So, so busy. Even through the quarantine, I've been asked to collaborate with a few people and and I just, we've, me and my sisters, we've all just said no because we just want to be. We just want to be. And this is the best time to do it. And so I have just been staying home, being with the kids. I have learned more about my kids during this quarantine. They are so cute out there. Like I can't even take how cute they're being out there. I can't believe how much I've learned about them just by sitting and being with them. They've been more talkative because I've been more present. I have been more present, the kids have been more talkative. It's truly just blessed our lives. And it's so, it feels so wrong to say that such an awful pandemic has blessed my life because I know that it's done the complete opposite for some people. And I'm not saying that, that the coronavirus is a positive thing. I'm saying the quarantine has been good for me. I think I'm going to end the vlog on this note and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.